Hello, I'm Jim Plasky, family nurse practitioner. As I had mentioned in a previous video, my goal of this platform was to not only bring in additional tips and tricks and lecture series that are going to help bridge uh, some of that educational gap or wants that we may have when it comes to options to springboard ideas off of each other, but also to implement some additional kits or supplemental educational programs to help aid in some of the various challenges that I saw both as a preceptor that was taking NPEPA students, but then again with my own uh, background in my graduate program as to areas or things that I wish I would have had. So this being the biggest one, the dermatology piece, the piece that I'm seeing the biggest gap in training is with procedural care. So I wanted to create a item or a educational series that was going to encompass some basic skill sets, but allow people to practice in the comfort of their own home. So with the creation of this mold, which took a very long time to create, I was able to do just that. So this mold is going to give the option to do biopsy care, different skin care techniques, but then also is a finger mold that allows you to practice different nail assessment techniques or even procedural techniques, whether it is doing nail trepanation, ingrown nail care, parunchia. You know, I wanted something that we were going to be able to utilize both as a student perspective, but then again, as a practicing clinician who may not have been in an area that you had the opportunity to utilize these skills in a long time. So again, uh, that's what led us to the creation of this platform was this mold kit and this avenue of education. In the next slide here, we're going to talk a little bit about what that procedural objective looks like. So teaching the shave biopsy, punch biopsy, elliptical incision, having the opportunity to do some skin tag removal, whether it's with a shave biopsy technique or just using a scalpel uh, to do that, nail trepanation or nail care in general, so that way you can see the opportunity to test your own background in ingrown nail care, parochial treatment, but then from a patient perspective, how are we going to keep them comfortable during those techniques, anesthetic techniques? First and foremost, an area that we should all uh, become very familiar with as this is something that we're gonna utilize in every procedural approach that we do. Bonus was a simple lash laceration repair opportunity. The feedback that I received with the creation of the mold was there's some great real estate here that I was not utilizing. So in the center of the mold, the space that's there does allow from additional simple interrupted laceration repair technique, uh, which is great. You know, one more thing that we can practice and might as well get the biggest bang for our buck when it comes to doing some of those educational approaches. So in your kit, you are going to see the addition of suture and a needle driver, all included just as a bonus package uh, with what we were already subsidizing within the kit itself. Here's a photo of everything that is included. Uh, on the left is a list of those items being the first and foremost top center is that derm mold that took the longest to create, um, but was a, a great game changer for my students, having the opportunity to practice some of the techniques that we were discussing in clinic. Surgical instruments, these are things that uh, the tissue forceps, the needle drivers, suture scissors, the iris scissors, not something I would use for patient care as they are not sterile, but they are great one and done type of uh, structure that you can use at home, not worrying about damaging them. Great options to just get a ton of practice in with. The other supplies, however, that are peeled pack and such are items that I wanted you to be able to get your hands on outside of the clinical setting. So it was important to me to have options that mimicked real life items that you were going to see in clinical practice, such as that derma blade. Not the easiest to come by, but definitely a style that you're going to see more often than not. And then, of course, our punch biopsies and scalpels. My goal with all of this is to bridge that gap from textbook to practice. That is our 
mission throughout this entire series. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next, I'm going to go through some little bit more in-depth look at some of the supplies that are included. So if you're interested in that, continue watching. If you're enjoying just what you're seeing, hit that like, subscribe, share. Stay tuned for more exciting options as we move forward together in this journey of education. Thank you. Let's do an unboxing of one of our products. This kit here is our dermatology base kit. Uh, this is the reason why we are doing what we're doing. This was our prototype that has launched our LLC, as well as uh, the opportunity to do additional educational pieces. As I had mentioned in my introductory video, when I was receiving students for the first time into clinical practice and trying to undergo some procedural steps. This was the biggest gap that I had noticed, even in my own education, uh, the ability to practice skin tags, shave biopsy removal, punch biopsy removal, elliptical excision, and just some of that hands-on time. So in this kit, uh, you will have the option to do all of that, as well as some nail care. The additional package or add-on would be an incision and drainage abscess uh, that would be it, it, with the same products, same kit module for the base, just with uh, in, a, in a bigger box per se, uh, to include some of the additional supplies such as packing and, and so forth. But let's go ahead and open up the base model kit here. We'll do everything backwards so you can fully appreciate the kit. Okay, when you first open here, you're going to notice that first package is going to be your mold container. So in there, you will have the finger as well as that derm silicone mold. We're just going to go ahead and open this up. Let's take the finger out here first. So this finger is a silicone based product, uh, a replica of a human finger as well as cuticle and so forth, you're going to have the ability with this mold to do full nail care. Uh, and what I mean by that is we will practice doing removal of an ingrown nail. We'll practice doing some uh, parenchial uh, care as well if they presented with an infection, as well as how to do a trepanation and a complete removal of that nail. So Great product, great ability to do some uh, practice as well with some digital blocks uh, in this mold. The next product is the piece that took the longest for us to develop, uh, trying to incorporate all of those components that I had mentioned before, where you have the ability to do the full nail care on the finger mold, but here, being that I wanted the option to do skin tag removal, some punch biopsies. Here we have some barrett keratosis where we're going to be able to actually uh, do a complete removal with a shave biopsy. There's some depth to all of these lesions. On the back here, we'll practice elliptical excisions. And again, there's some great depth. The mold gives the ability to get some tension or traction to the side uh, to allow us to give some additional Z tracking and so forth when it comes to some of those biopsy techniques. The biggest feedback that we got in uh, trying out our prototype was with this available real estate in the center. So this is where our bonus came in uh, and that we are including some sutures to do uh, education on how to close up a punch biopsy but then also the ability to do a simple laceration repair right in the center of the mold. It is an educational product. So as much as we can get out and the biggest bang for our buck, we want to help uh, with that training resource as much as we can. The next set of items here are your surgical instruments. So in here, there's quite a few and it's a nice little set. Uh, again, not for patient use, but definitely a great practice starter set. Uh, something that you don't have to worry about wrecking or overusing because you're gonna be just doing it for practice. In here, you're gonna see a pair of iris scissors. 
again, nice sharp points to them. Uh, we can practice additional uh, skin tags with these as well as the um, scalpel. Also a pair of suture scissors that have a nice little groove in the back, especially useful when removing suture, if you can see right there on the blade. Also the nice piece for that added bonus is a needle driver. Two options for forceps or pickups. You have one option here that also has some teeth to it, which is great for grabbing tissue. And then the last forcep here is the same type of forcep pickup, just without any teeth on the ends. Also in your kit, you will get a scalpel. We did our best to find products that will mimic those that you would see in practice. So it's nice to get your hands on actual instruments, actual supplies that you're able to practice with. Here's a 3ML syringe with a needle for us to go through the steps and procedures that we would do from simple uh, anesthetic techniques before doing any of our procedural care. Let's do the punch biopsy here next. You also get a shave biopsy kit. So here, the derma blade from Persona is one that you will often see in clinical practice the most familiar shave biopsy that most clinicians have utilized. Again, nice to just be able to practice with that instrument. Your bonus material because of that needle driver, as well as the option with the real estate on the mold itself is we will include some suture. Suture size and style might change a little bit based on availability, uh, but we will definitely always include some suture for you to practice with. And then of course, the last thing here, just a four by four gauze. So this is just to help with some of that parochial technique, what are we gonna do, uh, anesthetic technique, just to have extra cleanup supplies on hand. So that is our kit between the molds as well as the instruments. Uh, like, share, follow. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to me via the comment section or email me directly at Jim, J-I-M, at Pulaski and associates.com. Thank you.